Ladies, in today's video, we are going to show you three ways you can defend yourself against wild punches or haymakers. So stay tuned. If we haven't met before, my name is Ma'am Cheryl and I'm here with Master Jonathan. We are the co-founders of Empowered and we strive to help women and young girls build confidence and find their inner strength through defense and empowerment training. Wild punches such as the haymaker are extremely dangerous due to the violent nature and power they can generate. If you can, avoid these punches at all costs. But if you can't, Ma'am Cheryl and I are going to show you three punch defenses you can practice today to help you train to defend against these wild punches. Okay, so the first block we're going to cover today is just a simple arm raise. So, Sarah's going to throw a strike, and I'm literally just going to throw up my arm. It's just a block. Now, if he was really aggressive and he throws a punch, I can again throw one of these softening blows to give me time to get away. You'd be surprised how effective this is, or how powerful you'd be by simply putting your arm up. It's, just, it's a weird concept in martial arts. We tend to want to block hard, but sometimes just putting your hand up for self-defense and even sparring, it's a very effective technique in which we'll stop. Matthew, the harder I throw, when I throw it hard, her form, the phone, is hitting against all the nerves. So, actually, so I'm going to actually do more damage to myself by throwing a harder strike. And as you saw, and I'll have Matthew do it one more time, she's going to literally, the second she walks, she's going to do some kind of counter strike and peel out. Okay, so now we're going to add on to that, that last block. So I'm going to throw a punch, I'm going to raise my hand to block, and then deflect, which is pushing his arm opposite me. Okay, here. And then, that might be all you need for you to take off and escape from your assailant. Or, what Ma'am's going to do next, she's going to add some counter strike before she takes off. And what's really nice about the blocking and deflecting like that is my arm comes across, I can't really reach her with this side unless I'm trained to do a spinning technique. But let's be realistic, most people that are attacking women, they're not trained. So they're not going to be like thinking like a UFC fighter. So one last time with that now. So she's going to block underneath the flat and then from there I'm sitting duck. Okay, so the third concept, building off what we just have done, is serves and throw a strike, because sometimes naturally we, we want to bring up both hands. So as you can see, I'm going to hold up both hands for my block, and he's really vulnerable right here in his throat, so I hit his throat, palm to the head, knee, or punch to the groin, everything's open. Yeah, so I said that sometimes that instinct of freezing and covering up is going to actually going to help you. So you're never going to basically do that instinct and then she's just going to tee off. And like what we discussed in the first variation with the single hand block, the harder that I punch or the harder your assailant punches, the more it's going to hurt them because I literally, oh, put your hand up, man, put your hand up, I literally hitting my forearm and possibly my bicep against her bony forearm. And we all have like that bone there. And it's just like walking to a brick wall. Let's do it one last time, please. And then she can choose to leave the situation on her own accord. With lots of practice and training time, you too can build up the confidence and skills required to perform these defense moves with relative ease. We do recommend training at a martial arts school where you can train under proper supervision in a safe and controlled manner. For more self-defense videos like this, check out the playlist on the screen below, click that subscribe button, and we're going to see you in the next self-defense video. 
And ladies, remember, you have the right to defend yourself and you are worth defending.